What's up guys? It's Tim here and today um, it is September 1st 2017 and today I'm gonna be making a video about I'm gonna do a review of the um of the of my new 15 inch MacBook Pro with Reddit display. screen what you're seeing in front is my new uh, 15 inch MacBook Pro which this is the uh, late 2013 model which uh, which I'll talk about the specs later because I you know, like look find it on the uh, info so um so yeah which so we're gonna start doing a review about it it's, uh, so yeah which, starting at the side here we got a MagSafe 2, which that which the new models now um, are using USB-C for charging it. We got two Thunderbolt ports, which that's what USB-C is also replacing as well. Which this is the old models. They, they you know the old models they had Ethernet and uh, FireEye 800. Which is gone now since it's really thin. They put Thunderbolt on it, and they're still gonna use it for USB C as well. I think. Yeah, the USB port on this side here, and there's well, on the older models, they had two of them on, on, on the same side. I mean, see, this is USB 3.0, which on the new models, same thing, USB C adapter. And for the headphone jack here, it's a combination headphone slash microphone. If you want to hook up, if you want to plug in like your Apple AirPods, you can use the uh, remote in my remote mic or any headphones that has the in my remote microphone on it, which controls the music using iTunes. So that's the uh, combination headphone and microphone. And so yeah, which. The new models are located on the other side of the laptop on the new models. And on the on the old models, there's no more the uh, battery indicator. It indicates that how much battery it is, how charged it is, which they still don't have that anymore. On the front, it's basically nothing, which it, is, which it didn't change at all. Which, since the old models had the IR sensor and the uh, and the um, sleep indicator, but that's gone. And on the other side, we have another USB port, an HDMI 1.4 input to hook up to like television or HD TV, and a SDXC card slide, which same thing, USB C port. For USB-C adapters for that, but on the older models, they have, they would have like the um, Super Drive and the um, Kensington lock for security. And over here, in the back here, there's this uh, hinge. Here's the hinge here. Like it's a made, it's a plastic one here. Like, versus the new one, they use it's plastic. So now, now let's go ahead and. Flip it over and show it over. Okay, so under it, there's like basically nothing. You see here, there's the uh, let me get the focus. Come on, focus. Okay, this is a MacBook Pro. Here, you can see there's uh, four feet. There's four feet on here. This is a uh, which is since this is the since on these models uh, that's the MacBook Pro which this is the main when this is like which they took it off the screen and the new models they put it back on so yeah so now let's go ahead and flip it over again and over here is this all we have a lighted Apple logo come on focus 
Uh, sorry about that, my, my camera's not focusing that much. Well, here's the uh, Apple logo, the lighted Apple logo, which, uh, yeah, it lights up when you turn on the computer with, with the screen open. But new models, they don't use that anymore. It's, it's, I do miss it. Which I, I try. I want this model as well. And now it's going to open up. As you can see, it's a 15.4 inch screen. See, there. See, they don't have the uh, the name on it since on this model, which you see on the old model is on these models here. They took off from the old ones, but when they redesigned it since 2016, which is like since last year, since nearly like a year, which I think, but um. They uh, they put it back on the screen, so yeah. And over here we have this like uh, chiclet style keyboard with our function controls. We got escape here. Well, we got like like F1 and F2, which is the um, brightness controls. The, we got the um, I think this is a app switcher. We got um, our death, our launch pad controls, keyboard brightness, our media controls for iTunes, quick time, play, pause, it's like um, previous and next to it, or skip or like overline and fast forward. We had our mute, volume up and down, and our uh, power key. As integrated to the keyboard, which is on, it's like on the MacBook Airs. Which, see, I still like this keyboard, but you know what's nice about the new keyboard is, you know, you know, you know when you hit it, you know, it doesn't have this like feature, you know, it's like this uh, butterfly mechanism. Yeah. And we have our stereo speakers, which. And sound really good. So whenever I want to uh, just watch a video on YouTube and, and hear it clearly. So yeah, this is the best speaker I have on on a laptop with stereo and there's microphones built into it as well. And over here is our is our clickable everywhere uh, glass uh, track head, which on the, on the new ones it's bigger. And it has a force trackpad technology, which since the 2015 model that looks like this one it, uh, had the um, has like a, a force technology, which you know when when you hear it, when you're clicking it, you can hear the clicking. But the new ones with does like force trackpad, it seems so stiff. So yeah. So now let's go ahead and. Uh, so now I'm gonna go ahead and set it up and uh, onto the desk and like uh, and hook it up and let's do a boot test on OSX first. All right, we got it all hooked up to my to the desk to, the, to my desk here on the monitor and the keyboard and mouse. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down so I can like push here because I need to like push the uh, push the button on my watch and uh, push the button. In, in the uh, power button, so I'll go ahead and put the camera down right now because I don't have a camera stand, and my camera stand like broke with me. So last week, if you saw the previous video, I when I hit the base, hit the um, hit the milk carton with the baseball bat, my my stand broke. So I'm gonna go ahead and I uh, push it. One, two. Okay, it's booting up. You can see um, it's on a blank screen. It's gonna take a while. You can see. I know it's gonna take a while. So. Let me go on a uh, time lapse. Okay, so. 
go man. Yeah, let me um see your my camera's not focusing somehow. It's really difficult to hold. Okay, sorry about that you guys. Alright, there we go. So it took about one minute what a minute and eleven seconds, so on OSX. So we're gonna go ahead and so now let me let me go ahead and sign in and do some uh benchmarks for you guys. And show what it is. And show you the uh scores and all that stuff. Okay, first we're gonna start with the uh, Black Magic Disc Speed Test. Here yeah, we got five gigabyte of stress test. All right, so what? We're gonna go ahead and hit start. See, seven megabits. But see, if I got the newer models, you know, it would like go max this like speedometer here. But since it is fast, you know, this is a late 2013 model. You, you know. It's a, uh, it's pretty decent speeds for me, so um, it's not a big deal anyway. Even though anything like because again, newer models like is very expensive. Which you see uh, how this is our, these are the speeds for this, for this uh, uh for flash storage that we built into this computer, which it's which you know this is flash memory with PCIe of course. Uh, yeah, I'm getting about 770 megabits on the right, 714.5 on the reads. So, so now let's move on to the next test. All right, all right. Now let's do our Geekbench. As you can see, this has a see. This is the uh, Core i7, which is 2.3 gigahertz, which I believe it bumps up to 3.7. Which I don't remember, but this has 16 gigs of RAM, which is, which is non upgradable, of course. Since they're no longer doing upgrading RAM upgrades, so we're gonna do the uh, we're gonna do the uh, CPU benchmark first. You know, go ahead and time lapse this. Oh, that's getting really boring so I'm gonna go ahead and like uh, pause and uh, show you what the score is for like the CPU benchmark okay so um this is my results which for the, for the single core scores it's 4118 for the multi core scores it's 14137 uh, yeah like, like, so yeah, which is like really fast, you know, like, well, respectable like scores here. Let's see if we want to do like the um, others. So, but, and now let's do the uh, compute benchmarks, which we're going to start with the OpenCL with the, with the uh, dedicated graphics. So. I'm gonna go ahead and pause again, and then I'll come back to you guys. All right, I'm back. So now, on the dedicated graphics, via the uh, OpenCL. Here's our Open. Here's the OpenCL score for for the graphics card. But I'm testing dedicated graphics. So this this has the NVIDIA GeForce GT 750M, which is two gigs of RAM. So. Here's the scores. This is 13,768. And now, let's see what the difference is. Oh, okay. This is only in tryout mode, so. Now let's try the um, integrated graphics and see what we get. Okay, pause again. Okay, so here's our scores for the um, Intel Iris Pro. For the integrated graphics, which is the Iris Pro that's built into the CPU. Here, with its 
see here, this is 20,000, 27,423. So yeah, which is Intel Iris Pro. This is the NVIDIA GeForce GT 750M, which is the dedicated. And all that stuff, so yeah. Which I cannot even test the metal because this is a, this is a trial, so um, so yeah. Um, so now let's go ahead and move on to the next benchmark. All right, our next test, we're gonna be testing the OpenGL score on using Cinebench. So we're, which is gonna be our gaming performances and all that stuff, and we're gonna see what are the scores for the uh, OpenGL. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause here again, and then I'll show you the score for the OpenGL. Okay, so the scores we got here is 5881 58.81 frames per second which see here this is fourth place of like the OpenGL which we did out the ATI Radeon HD 5770 so yeah which this is our OpenGL so now we're gonna go ahead and test um, the CPU so I'm gonna go ahead and pause again and show you the scores for this for the CPU test. All right, and now for the CPU, it did better as well, which is about 555. Which is a re really expect respectable for me, which beating out all my uh, my other laptops that I had, my other PCs, my and also beat out my my dad's MacBook Air. Which it beat it out all my other uh, Windows laptops, which I was I couldn't get any like better, but I tried to get better ones from the old laptop right there, which is broken now. But see, I but you see this one can do better. So, so now let's try to move on to the next test. And our next test, we're gonna be testing Nova Bench, which. You see uh, Tesla's memory processor and the graphics, so we're gonna go ahead and start the test. So, I'll come right... So, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause again, even though this is gonna take a while depending on how long the test is gonna be, so I'll go ahead and pause. And here's our, um, and here's our score for for our Nova Bench score, which it's about 1367, which it took about 1509. So our CPU score is about 750, 715. GPU score which is about um, 275, which the, the OpenGL was like, took about 462. G flops in the metal 3D, 3D took about 25. FPS's. Our disk speed, our disk score was 118 with the write speed of 765 and 735. Yeah, for the read, yeah, read and writes. And for our RAM score, it's 259 with, with, with about two, 20, 23,296 megabytes, which is our speed. Uh, yeah So now all right, I'm back you guys. So now I'm gonna talk about the specs. This is a 2.3 gigahertz of Intel Core i7 16 gigs of RAM which is 1600 megahertz Try not to show the serial number We got the NVIDIA GeForce GT 750M2 with 2 gigs of RAM with the Intel Iris Pro Oh, uh, yeah, and so, so I'm using it. I'm using it with both the, my monitors. I'm using with, with this monitor and, and that one right there. And for the storage, it's 512 gigs. So I got it partitioned with OS X and uh, Windows 10, which will which we're gonna boot into soon. As long as I finish talking about the specs. So I'm gonna go and find more of the specifications. Oh, wait. So I since I got the 2.3 gigahertz, it's um, 
3.5. It turbo boosts up to 3.5. So yeah. So this is the uh, this has a seven. And also I forgot this has a 720p HD FaceTime camera, which it's really hard to see since it's a glossy screen built into the bezel. Um, um, yeah. So now let's go ahead and um, uh, boot in the Windows and show you the speed differences. Okay, so now I'm back on the boot menu. So now we're gonna do the same testing, but this time I'm gonna go to Windows. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down again and do the same thing like what we did on OS X. Okay. Three, two, one. Oops. <laughs> Fail. Okay, let me try that again. I pushed the wrong button on the uh, keyboard. Three, two, one. Wait, let me wait until the screen goes black. Alright, the screen is black. And now we're loading Windows 10. And it's about. Until we get to the login screen, and... Okay, so Windows 10 took about 26 seconds to boot up. Then OS X, so... So I'll, I'll try to put it in on, on the results on my... on, on, on screen and on the, uh... On, on, in the description, so, uh... So now let's go. So now let me go ahead and sign in and um, show you the um, the uh, test. Show you the uh, benchmarks for Windows. Okay, so now I'm on Windows. So now we're gonna do the um, we're gonna run some benchmarks using Performance Test 9.0. So let's go ahead and run the benchmarks and. And I'll get back to you as long as it's done. As you can see, we're doing the benchmark here, which... Look how my... This has a lot of... Oh my gosh, this is pulling about... A lot of... This is pulling like about 40 or 50 frames per second. Dang, it's going higher. Because on my old previous laptops, when I was doing these tests, it was like pulling about 20 or 30. This one's pulling 40 or 50. Since this one is, which this one's using the uh, NVIDIA GeForce GT 750. Oh my gosh. Now they're doing DirectX 9. Now it's DirectX 10. Which didn't seem to have anything, so. You see, the frame rate is like dropping. I don't know if it will be going higher enough, but there's different DirectX on here, so yeah. And oh my god, this is so high. It's going really high. So I'll go and pause again and find, find out what the scores are. Okay. This is our score for the pass mark rating using performance test on Windows. So here we have 94, 97.7 on the CPU mark, 669.5 on the 2D graphics mark, 1757 on the 3D graphics mark, 2336.4 on the memory mark, and 6904.6 on the disk mark. So you can see it's the 82nd percentile, 97th percentile on disk, 78th percentile on the um, memory, 
3D is 55th. Um, the 2D is 66, and the CPU is 82nd. So now let's go ahead and move on to the next benchmark. So now, which before I do this, the problem is that the um, for like the uh, 3D mark, the last part was like the OpenGL and that failed it because the graphics were going to support it and it was like getting outdated. So let's, but by the way, let's go ahead and move on to the next benchmark. Okay, our final test, our final benchmark test is the uh, base mark. We have 3.0 launcher, so we're gonna start the test via default browser. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause so I can, uh, because this is probably gonna take a while, so um, I'll go and pause. All right, I'm back. So this was the uh, score for the, um, for the, well, this is the base mark for web browsers, which, since I, I'm using Google Chrome, which, this is the result, 602.74. Which the core suite's a uh, 236.58, graphic suite 828.81, generic suite 663.49, and now for CSS 57.86%, HTML5 96.22%, page load and responsive. This is about 93.05% and our resize is 75.97% so uh, yeah so yeah with this you got you can use on a custom browser whatever you want you can use like any browser or you can use your default browser like what I have here is my Chrome. Mm, yeah. Well, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Just give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Well, oh, wait, before I let you know, since if you're wondering why I didn't with the, why went with these models, because the new models are very expensive, which, you know, I know what's nice about the new models is that they use a uh, KB Link, KB Link uh, processor, which is like a lot faster than this one. But this one's uh, enough for me, even though this is a uh, Haswell. So, but I'll be fine. So um, yeah, uh, give it a video a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions. And hit the subscribe button for more future content coming up. Uh, also follow me on Instagram, Campcom Tweet 0411. So, yeah, um, so yeah, um, thanks for watching.